Is there anybody behind me right now? Maybe in the church or on the other side of the building? I heard Frank. Frank What is the little girl's name? How old are you? Providence Meeting House Cemetery is a historic Quaker cemetery which opened in 1790, located along Quaker Church Road in Periopolis, Pennsylvania. The current stone chapel sitting in the middle of the historic Quaker Cemetery was constructed in 1895, built upon the ruins of a prior Quaker Meeting House that had been in use from 1793 to 1870. In fact, Stones from the original Quaker Meeting House were used to construct the current 1895 chapel. What is also certain is that there is nearly 500 souls laid to rest in this cemetery, although there are far fewer headstones, as Quaker tradition included using unmarked graves to bury the dead. What allegedly happened here became stuff of urban legend during the Satanic Panic of the 1980s. New and intense scrutiny on the activities of satanic cults. Stories of devil worship and satanic cults corrupting young minds. Unbelievable crime at the hands of satanic cults. Cults bent on tormenting and corrupting the young. Possibly satanic messages on some rock music recordings. But just how dangerous are these bands? Are they really trying to turn your kids into satanists? Games like Dungeons and Dragons were luring kids to devil worship when rumors surfaced that a local witch had been secretly tried and executed in the former Quaker meeting house, and the ghost of the witch now haunts the current chapel and cemetery. Unfortunately, that story seems to be heavily fabricated because the only witch trial recorded in Pennsylvania was in 1683, and no one was found guilty of witchcraft. Many people driving by the cemetery have claimed to see a call activity taking place inside the chapel, and some even say they feel dark energy residing over the land. I decided to give this place a visit at night. Although nothing over the top insane happened, I definitely left this place knowing that it lives up to its legends, and there are some souls who never got to rest. If you enjoyed so far, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the Urban Files, and let's jump into the investigation. What is up, you guys? We're here at the Providence Meeting House Cemetery tonight. This place has been called haunted by a lot of people. People have said they have driven by and even heard hellhounds as they drove by. There's also a very like well-known urban legend about a witch being executed inside the church, inside the cemetery. And I thought that was really creepy too, but this place just gives off like a really like scary vibe. So I wanted to check it out. And this place is like in the middle of nowhere, it seems like. I mean, we came here at night though. It's like 1 a.m. right now. And this place is like totally fenced up too. Like they have good security. We found a way in, so we're gonna head in right now. And I actually can't wait to see this place because it just looks so freaking creepy here at night. I use this thing though. I mean, like, get down there. So I really wanted to get inside this like church structure, but it looks like it's completely boarded up with steel beams. It looks like there used to be something right there. Nice chimney. But it really just looks like an old church. And on both the windows in the front, you have like these steel bars that look pretty old. Let's get a look in there. This is the front door entrance. In older pictures, I guess, this door wasn't here. I don't know when they added this. 
there's also a really creepy looking reef on it. This place is honestly giving me like a creepy vibe. I haven't done like a cemetery investigation in a while. It's like pretty cool to come to a place as cool as this for the first time back at a cemetery. Um, Sound like an animal, but I have no clue what that was, but that was pretty creepy. But yeah, we're about to do an investigation here, and uh, so I think we're gonna get some good results. And yeah, let's get to it. All right, guys, so we're gonna start off the investigation by doing the dowsing rods. I'm not sure if I've done the dowsing rods in a cemetery on the channel yet, but I'm gonna do them right now, and this place is pretty creepy, so I'm hoping that we get something. I got the PSB7 spirit box here and we're gonna ask some questions here at the cemetery. I'm sitting on the side of like a grave right now and I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna see if there's anything here on the spirit box. Is there anybody here with us in the cemetery right now besides me and my friend? Is there any evil energy here? Is there any very negative energy here at the cemetery? You hear that? Is there a little girl that's buried here? A couple times me and my friend heard a, a little girl scream her voice. Is there a little girl here? Dude, this is the second time I heard that, like, chanting, uh, you know what I mean? Uh, you hear that? Does a little girl haunt the cemetery? How, how many spirits are here with us? Do you like it when people come here? Do you hear something? Do you like us being here right now? What is the little girl's name? Did cults ever come here? Chop. Did cults ever come here to the cemetery? How old are you? How old are you? I heard 80. Or 8. Something with 8. 
Alright guys, so we moved to the front of the church and I'm like literally sitting right in the doorway. Like I said, I saw pictures before and this gate wasn't here so I don't know when they put this here. I was really hoping to get in but obviously we couldn't so I'm just sitting in front of the gate and we're going to ask some more questions on the spirit box and see if maybe there's more activity or maybe we'll get more or different answers up here. Is there actually hellhounds that haunt the cemetery? Is this cemetery really haunted? Is it me? How many spirits haunt the cemetery? I heard four. Did you say there's four people haunting the cemetery? Are they demons? What day? What day I heard? Yeah, I heard that too. Like who's they? Yeah. Are the people that haunt the cemetery demonic presences or energies? Are they demonic energies? Are they capable of hurting me? Some of them I heard. That's good, because I heard some. Is there anybody behind me right now? Maybe in the church or on the other side of the building? I heard Frank. Is that what you heard? We heard Zimmer after. Oh really? Yeah. Damn. That'd be crazy if we like saw a grave that said that. Is Frank Zimmer a person that's buried here? How long have you been dead? Alright guys, so we're gonna wrap up the video here. It's like 3, almost 4 a.m. right now, so we literally gotta make a drive back. So I'm gonna wrap it up. Uh, this place was super cool. It literally felt like we were here for like not even that long. It's kind of crazy. But um, this place was super creepy. I definitely felt like there's some type of energy, definitely a negative energy. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the answers that we found tonight. And um, yeah, this place was pretty fun to come out to. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe to the Urban Files, and I'll catch you all next week for another creepy investigation.